اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدری ويسر لي امری واحلل عقدۃ من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہ مفتح علی نہ حکمت کا بنچ والی نہ رحمت کا یا ذل جلال و اکرام اللهم ان يسال علما نافعا وعملا متقبلا ورزقا طيبا اللهم اعفني في بدني اللهم اعفني في سمعي اللهم اعفني في بصري لا اله الا انت سبحانك اني كنت من الظالمين السلام علیکم ایوری ون گڈ مارننگ صبح خیر اوکے Uh, here is Microsoft Teams. In Microsoft Teams, we are going to explore Class Notebook. Okay, what is Class Notebook? It is a digital notebook in which you can uh, find different features. Uh, uh, let's explore the different features of Class Notebook. Using Class Notebook, uh, you can um, uh, we have the, the this multiple options over here. Let's see what we have over here. When I will click here, first you will see this welcome note. Welcome to the class notebook and you will find that uh, how you can use this. It has three um, three different parts. When I will scroll down and you will find over here a student notebook. A student notebook is a private area uh, between teacher and the individual student. Teacher can access every student notebook while student can only see the, their own, own work. Okay. Now what is content library? Student work done. Student notebook. Okay, student and uh, there is a private space between student and teacher and they can collaborate with each other either the each other teacher can see student work but student can see only their work okay now content library in the content library it is a read-only space where teacher can upload um, slavers uh, term breakup resources uh, worksheet re uh, only read-only material they can upload over there clear now next thing is student can make changes in content library it's a read only that's why it is called read only so scroll down um what else where is the collaboration space okay the third thing is a collaboration space in the collaboration space a student can uh, do research work they can do a group work they can um teacher can assign them a pair work okay and um teacher can even later on teacher can um uh, lock the collaboration space as well we'll see these different features okay after clicking here so uh, let's explore its different parts for example is a home tab insert draw view help open in a browser when you click here you can even open in a desktop app then there's a lot more options it's just like word excellent powerpoint these tabs okay we can use this to write our text okay let's go back can you see over here on the left side we have a navigation um, navigation um, navigation bar when I will click on that we will find this interface these all are your section these are called section this section is over here if you want to add one more section like we have a chemistry section here English biology welcome computer sciences then there is a different collaboration space here in collaboration space I, I told you earlier okay, um, student and teachers uh, they can interact with each other whatever they are sharing over there uh, all the teachers um, uh, all the students and teacher they can see um, each other work and comment on that okay then in content library it's a read only material where you can upload your resources okay then this is for teacher only teacher only mean that teacher can make their worksheets make different pages uh, assignment quizzes and they can upload over here and only teacher can see this student cannot see unless teacher will assign this task to the student okay then we have different students over here you can check that in each uh, individual like this Abdul Mohiz Malik we have these uh, different four formats over here this is the structure of each uh, student individual uh, class notebook in which we have a class notes then handouts homework and quizzes you can even add more section over here okay right click new section okay right click on it and you can add more new section okay let uh, let me add over here let's take a start by adding a section over here you can even add pages from here so let's take start from here uh, computer science is over here biology is over here physics is over here chemistry is over here but there is no physics subject Okay, okay, ma'am, Hira, your subject is not here. I'm going to add this. So click on this uh, add section. Then right here, quickly right here, physics. I want to make this tutorial very short. Okay, uh, physics. Okay, 
then um, physics click on okay now if I want to change its color click right click on it and you can change its color as well but I'm not able to find that mm, rename yes delete section you can even select the color okay let me select which one which one which one which one hmm okay in this case uh, purple purple is there okay purple no green let me select green so I have created this successfully now um, I want to add um, pages in it okay. so that I can share later on with my students so I'm going to pick my subject my subject is computer science so I need to click over here quickly I will click here and then I have created I have created this one page over here let me show you this and I have designed this okay, by clicking here you can make it bigger okay what is different between high level and low level languages what is the difference between high level and low level languages I will get the student response from here okay uh, you can even make changes um, in that um, it's very easy using these different options colors font color then highlighter underline okay you can change even uh, font style format painter clear formatting script all that earlier I have created one clip I will add over here so that you can see that how I have made this okay the next thing is um, I, after creating this I'm going to um, distribute this, this with my students how to distribute that is my main question let's explore insert in insert you can attach files as well pictures links audio symbols these are the math math, uh, math functions over here math teacher can utilize this then these are emojis over here uh, then insert form as well stickers if you want to appreciate uh, if you want to comment on the student work for example you can review your student uh, student work when they turn in your assignment you can assign these stickers to them uh, as um as appreciation okay now next thing is draw in draw we have uh, these different colors over here we have um, these lines and uh, thickness of that pen yeah then eraser over here you can explore this all you need to practice okay uh, let me move towards where is the class notebook from where we can distribute these pages so quickly I'm going to click here uh, view oh, in view we have um, immersive reader reading view page colors you can change page color from here okay it's not visible because I have a slow internet so you can select any page color from here okay okay then um, let's move to the next one help click on this drop down can you see here more tabs will appear click on this small down here is the class notebook click on it and here you will find distribute page distribute new section copy to content library review the student work when you will check student work you need to click here review the student work okay after that you by reviewing student work you can give them the feedback okay now quickly click here I want to distribute this page click on here distribute so distribute the page individual distribution group distribution and then delete the page so I want to distribute this page click on that on the right side it will appear so all the students are already added in this class class 10 okay um, now where I want to uh, put my this assignment or quiz so it, it is a quiz so um, I will um, okay it's a class notebook I will uh, take qu quickly a uh, feedback from my students so I need to assign this over here so I will click here okay gee, here we are after creating your page in your specific class in your section this is section and you can say it is your subject name class okay I've created this so after that I need to distribute this page so how I will distribute this uh, you need to first of all you need to select the page high level low level page is selected no show navigation select subject and then select the page in that subject now you can use page distribution 
to all the students individual specific students individual distribution group distribution so you can diff create different groups and that class notebook distribution this is important in class notebook distribution means that if you have multiple section like um, I have 6 TC, 7 TC uh, then uh, 5 TC and you are teaching uh, the classes the same subject to the multiple sub uh, multiple section so you need to use this one and you can assign the same uh, assignment to the multiple sections okay now let me go for this distribute the page I will click here um, distribute page then on the right side it will appear okay uh, now here we need to select where I want to place this so I want to take this as a uh, as a quiz okay. so I will click here and distribution distribute will appear over here at the bottom so it will be distributed in the quiz section of all the students over here the okay. Ahmed Fial and all that all the students including computer and bio students all the students so I will click here distribute and it will be distributed this page 23rd April 2020 high level low level language will be distributed to all the students process is going on here okay gee. done okay done so let me check go to navigation I'm already in navigation so let me check my students work over here let me close this all these sections uh, first of all let me check Ahmed Fiaz and his quiz section click here yeah assign task task assigned he has his own soft copy ticket digital to copy where he can work and give me the answer okay after writing the answer he can submit his work okay now after that now let me check let me check one more students work for example I want to check that this subject is assigned to M Kamal in the first section yes subject assigned assignment assigned successfully now what else uh, let me check Salman's work Salman quizzes yes it's over here done okay one more Mwaraj Mwaraj Heather quiz section done excellent work okay gee. well done hopefully you have learned that okay uh, after that uh, you can click on review if the student has given you a response you can click on review student work in this section you can review student work if they have click on next they have done the assignments and they have completed that okay let me process this and let me check page locking I can page lock and unlock from here okay. select the students to review their review their work select a student to review their work you can uh, let me select Morris Heather apply his work is locked now times up so he cannot make changes in his work anymore okay gee. Uh, hopefully you have learned this skill